we are live here in the Pace studio with Karen Elson. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this first song you're going to play for us? Yes, this first song is called Distant Shore, and it was actually the last song on my record, Double Roses. Um, mm -hmm. It was the last song I wrote. I wrote it literally, it was two o'clock in the morning, the day before I was going to Los Angeles to make the record. And, you know... It, it, it was the final puzzle piece that I needed and it's, it's amazing what a little pressure can do. It just mm -hmm. all poured out of me, yeah. Absolutely. And it felt like the perfect ending to this record. Cool. Well, whenever you're ready. Thank you.
thank you very much. So you mentioned that you recorded the record in LA. Yes, I did. Um, did being out there influence the music at all, or did that space? Well, we recorded at Ocean Way. Oh, it's also called United, but it used to be called Ocean Way. You're mm -hmm. stealing my bloody snark. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Jonathan Wilson was the producer, and I've known Jonathan for a very long time, and he's a dear friend. And there's something about Jonathan's production as well. I mean, he just has this really subtle and gorgeous way of um, making, say, a simple song like Distant Shore and adding the right elements that instead of overwhelming such a sort of vulnerable song, kind of add this beautiful atmospheric quality to it mm -hmm. and you know I think yes recording in LA definitely colored I mean say if I recorded this song in Nashville mm -hmm. as much as I love Nashville it can tend to lend itself to turning more country and less sort of you know sorrowful and folk driven mm -hmm. and Jonathan just has that ability to do that yeah absolutely uh, well, can you tell us a little bit about this next song that you're going to play for us? Um, the next song is called um, Wander Blind, and it's actually the very first song on my record, and it was actually the first song that I wrote mm. for this record. I actually went into the studio, God, six years ago, if you can believe it, and I m made a rough demo of this and another song called Helen Highwater that um, made it on the record but again it's, it, it was unconscious that I even started with Wonder Blind as the first song and Distant Shore as the last and mm -hmm. it's only afterwards that I was like wait chronological order I guess yeah I'm just gonna tune my guitar really quickly Here's Wander Blind. I have to stop, the guitar's so out of tune. Sure. Check yours, because I'm in tune. <laughs> <laughs> the axe falleth quickly. <laughs> no, I'm not. Wander blind. Hey, love, it's the end of an era. Time isn't on your side. As a clock ticks, I'm seeing things. Hearts were made to wonder blind. Oh, is it worth the cost to lose yourself when you're already lost? Oh, is it worth the cost? Let the home fires blaze all night To guide the men back to beds Upon the pillow they'll sleep But on my pillow I'll be For someone to come and stoke the fire To lose yourself when you're already lost Oh, 
It's the end of an era Time isn't on our side As the clock ticks I'm seeing things clearer Tender hearts were made to one to call the record Double Roses? Um, there's a poem by Sam Shepard that's actually called Double Roses, mm -hmm. and um, somebody gave me the book Motel Chronicles, and, you know, people always sort of, you know, they, they ask, like, what is your inspirational, musical inspira inspiration? And for me, it's always sort of stranger things, you know? I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's maybe something I'll read or even a conversation I'll overhear or something along those lines, mm -hmm. and... and I just read that poem and for whatever reason it just sort of personified just some of the things I was feeling. I just read between the lines and it moved me and, um, you know, managed to get permission from Sam Shepard actually thanks to you, Jackson. You were the instigator with that. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, it, it's, it, again, it's, it's so personal. I mean, I'm sure mm -hmm. I love the poem. I think it's beautiful, but it just, it resonates in some way that just felt like it encapsulated, encapsulated all this sort of emotional stuff I was feeling as I was making the record, yeah. Cool. Well, you have one more for us. I do. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Actually, this is a um, B-side of um, Double Roses, and um, or it will be a B-side, and it's actually a song that Jackson and I wrote together. Jackson wrote the music, um, I wrote the words, and Jackson and I have been um, with, um, have been, um, oh dear. <laughs> Someone's cell phone is ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Jackson, as I talk about oh, you, your man. phone is ringing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's terrible. Just, I don't know. <laughs> This is Jackson's idea of hell right now. It's in, it's in your Beaver Island Just jacket. Throw it out in the. Throw it out in the. <laughs> but anyway, Jackson and I have been writing songs for a very long time together, and been playing music for a long time. And yeah, it, I just really love the song, so I decided to play it. And it's called "Waiting on Your Ghost." <laughs> just beside myself. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson's also a comedian. He just doesn't know it. All right, we're good. Oh, we're good. Right. Oh God, this one's. A Nervous. You're gonna do it, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Book. 
come and go Some I've loved and some I don't know But these days will always turn cold Your face on my window has now for being here thank you before we let you go we want to let people know where they can next catch you live yes well if anyone's in new york i'm playing tonight at rough trade in brooklyn and i'm playing in london um at the moth club and also at rough trade as well Mm -hmm. within the next week and summer festivals and stuff like that kind of slowly but surely getting tour stuff figured out yeah awesome well thanks so much for being here today we really appreciate it thank you for having us it was really fun thank you (laughs) 